also hearing about these stories. WFMY News News contributing editor Blanca Cobb is with Chad right now with how you need to talk to your kids about this. Yeah, and Blanca, let's just jump right into it. Some of these allegations, of course, include some pretty graphic um, things that you may not want to talk about with your teens or maybe possibly not have them hear. But how should parents handle that? You handle it straight on. Because look, you may want to protect your children and protect them from the ugliness in the world, but here's the deal, they're gonna learn about it. And if you don't discuss it with them, they're gonna learn from somebody else, perhaps get misinformation, and you're gonna lose control of that conversation. When you talk to them, use that same language that they're hearing that is out in the media. You can't water this down. Watering it down doesn't make it less impactful. You have to really tackle it head on. And what else can parents do to help their teens understand sexual harassment? Give them some examples of situations that they can find a little tricky. So let's say that um, someone gets really close to them. Well, first, Chad, we're going to do some body language things here. So why don't you put your hand on my shoulder, please, and just hold on. Okay. So let's say this really happens, and so I'm uncomfortable. So what I'm going to do is I can just move out and away. So if you put your shoulder, your hand back on my shoulder, if I go back and forth, you see how your hand is still there? You can mm -hmm. use my shoulder as leverage and not let go. So it's those little tricks with body language that you can show your kids to get out of these tricky situations. What's another example that, um, that can be a good learning tool? Get really, really close to me, Chad. Mm -hmm. So like closer. Like real close. Yeah, like, like really real close. close. Yeah, okay. so I don't like this. So I'm going to step away and I'm going to turn my body away from you. So let's say that... Um, but you still, that's not enough. Say you want to be a little more aggressive and move towards me, then this is where I'm going to move my hand and say, hey, what's up? Put that physical barrier because mm -hmm. I'm keeping that distance between me and you. And I could definitely understand. And the eyesight and the body language says yes. it all. Good advice. Thanks a lot, Blanca. And if you'd like to have any, if you have any questions that you'd like to ask Blanca, you can reach out to her on Facebook. Just search Blanca Cobb Body Language Expert.